and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. Now it has been quite a while since I've done a recording, but school has finally given me a break, so let us continue. On our last episode, we got to the top of this route, which I think is Route 204. Yes, Route 204. No, Route 205, I stand corrected. And we're about to enter the Eterna Forest. And this guy just tells you to make sure you have antidotes, which I think I do. I'm just going to double check make sure I do have at least a few on me. And one kind of scares me, but you know, we'll take the risk, even though there's a Nuzlocke. So in here is the Eterna Forest. Hello, my name's Cheryl, and you are? Okay, so your name is China. I'm sincerely glad to meet you. China, may I ask a big favor of you? I want to get through this forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. I've heard that there is a sinister group of people called Team Galactic about. Thinking there's safety in numbers. Please, may I go through with you? And you actually get a partner to go through the Eterna Forest. Uh, now, Cheryl will have a Chansey, and the greatest, best thing about actually having partners in this is that they heal your Pokemon fully after each battle. So it makes this part kind of easy. And every battle, as you're about to see, is going to be a double battle. So in this case, well, it looks like no matter what, our next Pokemon is going to be Badoo. So she always has a Chansey. Oh, actually a very powerful Chansey. And the thing with these double battles, especially in the wild, is you need, you need to knock out one of the Pokemon if you want to catch one of them. So what I'm going to do is try to get through one of these Badoos so I can catch it and have a new party member. And I can't... I was hoping I'd get, like, something different here, but you know what? Badoo will work. And Chansey normally only uses Egg Bomb, Refresh, and, like, Hard Boil or something like that. This is the one thing I really don't like about these double battles is that they're really hard to capture Pokemon. Especially since you can only throw the Pokeball once the Pokemon, once there's only one Pokemon left. So pretty much I have to take out one of these Badoos and have the risk of Chansey actually defeating one of the Badoos in order to actually be able to capture one. So yay! But you know what? Having a grass type actually will help a little bit to begin with. I normally don't use grass types too often, but you know what? It won't be a bad thing at all to have. So one of the Badoos is gone. And let's just hope that Chansey doesn't do anything stupid to kill the other Badoo. That way we can actually have a new Pokemon. And yes, Koopa does have the Water Claw, the Wow Water Claw, that Quick Claw on him, so that will help. Uh, really, I'm hoping Chansey will use Egg Bomb. Well, is it Egg Bomb? Whatever the move is called, just to weaken that Badoo enough. Oh, this is really scaring me that they're not doing anything so I'm just gonna keep pretty much stalling for a while that way I can actually capture this Badoo. Holy crap. I really need more team members so it's very important that I actually get this stupid Pokemon. Come on Chansey hit it with an egg bomb or you're just going to refresh yourself. Okay whatever. If that's what you want to do fine be that way. I'm gonna use Harden though. Oh and now your egg bombs are missing. Come on just hurt the Badoo so I can catch it, Cheryl! How hard is it to actually hurt a Badoo with your freaking eggs? Ah! Come on, Chansey. Go, Chansey. Go, Chansey. Wow. What are the chances of Egg Bomb not hit? And I know as soon as I use a move on Badoo, it's gonna end up, uh, Chansey's gonna end up killing it, and then I'm gonna be screwed over actually being able to get a Pokemon in this area. Thank you for using it! Okay, maybe I'm only going to get like one chance to capture it, so I hope to God that I actually can get this little thingy plant. Yeah, the special thing about Badoo is that you need to raise it during the morning, because that's the only way that it'll evolve into Roselia. So let's hope to God that this actually captures it. Come on, please. Please stay in the Pokeball for me. Please. Please. Yay, I actually got a grass type. Woo! Alright, we probably won't be seeing Badoo for a little while because I don't want to go back and add it to my team yet. But, yes, our new member who's going to be in the team is Badoo. Sensitive to changing temperature, the bud is said to bloom when it feels the sun's warm touch. Cool. Um, Let's name Badoo... What do we want to name Badoo? <laughs> well, 
Ro Roselia in Rosa Raid, which is of all forms, always kind of made me feel, may always look like something to do with roses. So, we're just going to go ahead and call our little new friend here Rosie. And they once again transfer into Fallen, and I don't want them to do that! Oh, but whatever. Either way, we have an antidote here, and we're just going to explore the forest a little bit. Which, again, the awesome thing is Cheryl heals our Pokemon each time, so... Uh, right... Okay, anyway, before that battle, there is a mysterious rock here. If you have an Eevee and you train an Eevee right near this rock and raise it a level, it'll evolve into the grass-type Leafeon, so... Whenever you get a Leaf... Wow, whenever you get a Leafy, I mean Eevee, you can actually go back here and actually get yourself a Leafeon, so... Now, like I said before, every trainer in here will be a double battle, so these two are gonna try to attack you as you go to them. And... At least you'll have Cheryl with you to back you up, so Bugcatcher Jack and last Brianna, who has a Wurmple and a Pachiritsu, which is definitely not bad. What I'm hoping is that Chansey tries to take out the Wurmple while I'm going to use Mud Bomb on the Pachiritsu, which that kind of scares me with Spark. Oh, that really scares me, actually. Oh, dear lord, because that Pachiritsu is strong. Ooh, wow. Eek. Um, yeah, I don't think Koopa wants to stay out anymore. Koopa definitely doesn't want to stay out anymore. Oh, God, no. Um, alright. Since they're probably going to go and try to attack me again, I'm going to switch to Shocker. And since Pachiris is a... Well, and since Wurmple's a male, uh, Shocker's uh, attack should be raised a little bit. But either way, uh, smart move on... Oh, and then I get paralyzed, which it figures. Um, but pretty much now I'm avoiding getting massively damaged by that Pachiritsu, and I'm hoping that Chansey will use, like, Refresh and Shocker. But no, just gonna try to keep taking out that... Uh, gonna try to take... Just to try to take out one of the Pokemon, which is not a bad thing. This is gonna definitely take a while. Holy crap. I mean, that Pachiritsu really scares me, but hopefully with the combined efforts of me and... Yeah, that works too. Uh... Me and Charo, we will overcome this dynamic duo. Or I'll just keep being paralyzed. And wow. I swear, I've never had this much trouble in a Pokemon game before, but I think with the added pressure of the Nuzlocke plus just stupid shit happening once in a while, it's like, eh. But we need to take out that Pachiritsu because it's becoming an annoyance. Silcoon. Okay. Silcoon might have Poison Sting, but again, I'm not too, too worried about it. However, what I might want to do, actually, is use a potion. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to want to use a potion on Shocker, because I don't want to lose my electric type. At least not yet. <laughs> Alright, it's a good thing that we have three of each type of potions right now. When I actually get to the next city, which is Eterna, I'm going to stock up on a few more potions just to make things a little bit easier. Yay. Uh, I've never been this, like, about a battle before, but... It, since Chansey seems to be failing at actually throwing eggs at people, looks like we're going to have to resort to using small little tackles. And wow, these battles are taking me so long, but that is okay. Oh, what's the point of using soft boiled on yourself? You did very little damage, you stupid... Oh, whatever. Again, the only good thing is at least Cher will heal your Pokemon after each battle, so I don't need to really worry about the poison or paralysis, which is nice. And I never thought a Pachiritsu would be giving me this much trouble. But at least now it's gone. God! And Koopa grew a level, which is awesome. And so did Shocker, which is even better. And then he's gonna Poison Sting my Shocker again. It's a good thing I can't get poisoned now, at least. Because I'm already paralyzed. Uh, What about just to end this quickly, I'm going to... Hmm. I could use Bloodsuck, but Bloodsuck doesn't actually know any flying moves yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and use Kazooie to finish this off quickly. Actually, probably having Kazooie at the front line would be better, but since I'm trying to keep my Pokemon at... Well, I shouldn't say at decent levels, but Pokemon leveled up evenly, so I have more of a chance for stuff, I'm probably going to do it this way. 
And Bloodsuck, honestly, probably after I'm done in the forest, won't be in my party because I'll be replacing him with uh, Rosie, which will help out, so. Always having that awesome grass type there. All right, uh, yeah, use Egg Bomb on nothing. That's smart. Ooh, Beautifly! I'm actually very glad I switched for Kazooie now. Uh, most of the Pokemon that most of these trainers are going to have will probably be uh, bug types, so... Having a flying type at the head at the head of your party is probably a really good idea. Since wing attack is gonna be my greatest friend here. There's also a chance if you actually want to wait. Um you can actually find wild beautifies and dust tox in here, but they're really rare and you gotta have a lot of patience to it. The easiest thing is just to catch a worm wormpole and do it that way, to be honest. But that's entirely up to you what you want to do. Either way, Koopa leveled up, and we'll go to Bloodsuck again so we can raise her up one more level. Let's first catch this Pokemon. Catch this Pokemon. Wow, I mean get the Pokeball there. And let us keep going to another set of two trainers. I think they're both Psychics, so I don't actually know. They might actually have Psychic Pokemon instead of, like, uh, Bugs, but we'll see. Uh, Psychic Lindsay and Psychic Elijah. Abra and Abra. Ooh, we have the duo Abra team. That means blood sucks in kind of trouble here. Because they most likely have hidden power. Because literally, these guys never send in, like, anybody who uh, doesn't have, like... Uh, I can't talk today. Um, they, they don't al always have an Abra that only knows teleport or else it'd be useless. But Buzz... Busby should be able to do pretty good here. I figured they had hidden power, but hidden power has a special thing of being of having a specific type of damage based on uh, based on the Pokemon's IV stats, and it's very hard to and complicated to explain how to find IV, and that chance he's taking quite a bit of hits. But um, just just trust me on it. Uh, each of the Abras probably has a different move. One of them is definitely fighting. Since it was super... Actually, they both might be fighting, considering that their their uh, hidden powers are being super effective against Chansey. So, yeah. I would say they both have the fighting characteristic. Which, actually, it probably would have been safe to keep Zubat in there, but I'm not taking that risk. And the wonderful thing about Abra's is, as awesome as they are a special attack, their defense sucks. So, if you have a Pokemon, especially a bug Pokemon, who has say, a bug-type move other than Leech Life, because Leech Life isn't the best bug move, then these, then you're pretty much going to have a very easy time with Abra's. So, that's why Buzz, Buzzby is actually really good here, with the good old Furry Cutter, well, Fury Cutter, which actually continuously does more damage each time it's used. So, pretty much expect that next Abra to go down in, like, two shot, well, maybe even one shot at this rate. And it's really useful that there's only, like, um... One Abra here for each, but this is actually... I'm glad that I actually caught the Busby now. It, it figures that, that a bug Pokemon will come to use to me eventually, but again, it's probably another thing that won't stay in my party forever, just because Bug's not the best, unless I find like a really epic bug thing like Heracross, but I believe Heracrosses can only be found on trees and stuff like that. By the way, both of the Psychics have been taken down. Woot! And we get a little bit more money, our Pokemon are healed, and we can continue through the Interna Forest. Uh, oops, and another battle. Alright, that last battle, Bloodsuck went up a level, but since my weakest is still 14, he will stay in my party for a little while longer. Over here we get a Netball. Netballs are interesting. Um, Okay, before I ran into that battle, like I was saying, netballs are special. What they do is um, allow Pokemon that can either be fished, um, hooked, or bug Pokemon to be caught a lot easier. So it's useful if you want to catch, like, water Pokemon or even bug Pokemon, which is probably why they originally showed in this area. Either way, man, honestly, bringing back the Eternal Forest does bring you back to the original Red, Blue, and Yellow with uh, Viridian Forest. I mean, this doesn't exactly have the same effect as Viridian Forest, but you can still kind of, like, 
feel that nostalgic thing of, ooh, I remember seeing all these bug tights for the first time and how cool I thought they were and everything else, but uh, I hate Protect and I aim for Burmy, so that's gonna do nothing to Burmy now. Uh, but yeah. And I always remember since, uh, Viridian Forest was the first place you could find Pikachu and that I found that out, I literally spent hours and hours on there just looking for that one Pokemon, just because I wanted Pikachu so badly then, because everyone back in the day was obsessed with Pikachu, and, I mean, how could you not be? It's an adorable little electric mouse. I mean, now they kind of have in this version, well, Pikachu still is in this version, but Pachiritsu is adorable squirrel instead, and it's like things like that, but it's cool. Um, but yeah, there really isn't anything too rare. For some reason, most of the most of the original games always had at least one very hard to find Pokemon in the forest, but they seem to have not done that with this set, and I'm not sure. Oh, might as well explain about Burmy. Um, uh, there are three types of male, uh, yeah, three types of male Burmies. Each one, um, changes it the way it looks depending on where the last place you battled with it was. Um, in the case of, like, a field, it becomes a grass type when it gets a grass coating. If you're in somewhere, say, like, where there's sandstorm, so there's a lot of ground, it become a ground type cl cloak and also get a ground coating. And if you're in a city in battle, it'll get a steel type cloak, and when it evolves, it becomes steel. So, Burmy is one of those very interesting Pokemon who you never know exactly what you're going to end up getting in the long run. Oh wait, I should probably pay more attention to Bloodsuck, especially since... Oh no. No! No! <laughs> Shit! Ah! No! This sucks! Damn it, damn it, damn it. Well, you know what? It's not a big deal. I wasn't planning on using Zubat anyway, but we've had our next fallen uh, Pokemon... Bloodsuck falls because I got killed by a dust tox and thinking, oh, the dust tox won't like aim for me. I'm only just a freaking poison type and it knows confusion. What was I thinking? Oh, I'm such an idiot sometimes. But we've had another Pokemon fall, sadly. So rest in peace, my lovely Zubat. You will be missed, but at least you had some fun in battles. And oh dear lord. Oh, I hate when that happens. I mean. I, I shouldn't say I will, well I kind of felt connect, connect to Bloodsuck because I absolutely love the name so it was like awesome and now it's gone and it's like no but Endeavor um Endeavor is an interesting move uh what it does is it uh it pretty much cuts down the opponent's HP to half of your HP or something like that but hmm it cuts it down to whatever your HP happens to be. Oh, well, yes. As my friend just told me from back there who walked out of a room, but I don't really like using it too much, so I'm not going to actually learn it for... Especially Yeah. I'm not going to learn it for Kazooie. It could be useful if I wasn't doing a Nuzlocke challenge, but I'm not doing that. Yeah. Uh, I, I still feel bad that he died, but that's okay. We need to continue on. It, yes, another one to add to the Fallen box, but that's okay. We will at least destroy this trainer as revenge for poor Bloodsuck for dying! Uh, that's alright. Uh, anyways, I'm just gonna have Kazooie finish off. Or not, because these, these trainers seem to have an obsession with using Protect every two turns, so these battles drag on for like five minutes at a time. They should only last two minutes! Ah! Uh, Anyway, okay, that Burmy is finally gone, and sadly so is Blood Suck, so when I get to a PC, I'll put him in the Fall In, and then I'll place him for Rosie, since I just caught her. Eyes. Uh, oh well. Well, you see Blood Suck alive right here, but just pretend he's KO'd. Because, yeah, with the Chansey there, kind of everybody always heals and be like, Yay, I'm healed! Yay, I'm healed? Oh my god. Anyway, there's an item over here. Which happens to be a potion, which is luxury at this point. Potions make me happy. Yeah. Oh, man. This this Eternal Forest is actually being more of a 
nuisance than I thought it would originally be, but uh, another battle. So like I was saying, Eterna Forest is turning out to be not such a pleasant reminder of Viridian Forest, but instead, blood sucks grave. But on that note, we will continue our adventure through Eterna Forest on the next episode. So until then, Autobots rock out. That and just remember, blood sucks sacrifice for us. At least he died in a nice place. Yeah, even if it was by a dust tox. Oh. Yeah. How'd he kill him? Confusion. Oh. Because I forgot it could learn confusion. That sucks. Yeah. So, anyways, until next time, this is Legendary China and. Oh, this is Grandosco. For a brief uh, cameo <laughs> appearance, I guess you could say. So, until next time.